Hello again, this is Ivan of superfurry.nl and uh, I decided to make some more infomercial clips uh, about my product so people understand what my products are about and today I'm going to talk about the popular, the very famous, the only one, the very super duper stunning beard polisher. This is the 40 Crooks variant, a really uh, special, unique, intriguing fragrance of uh, uh, Amber Jardine. It's the amber taken from a, sh a shrub. There's some coriander in it. There are some other um, uh, spices in it. And uh, it's a it's a classic already. There's I got lots of fans uh, for this fragrance, but there's plenty of more fragrances. Even a special edition for very white or grey or silver beards, and there's an edition for uh, ginger beards, Captain Barbarossa, and the one for the silver white or. Uh, grey beards is Sterling Nine Two Five. So everybody says, yeah, what what is this polisher about? Well, polisher. I start calling it polish because the first time I made it, I put it in my beard, I noticed a very nice buff shine, just like a polish, just like, you know, shiny polish. So I thought, everybody's calling it butter beard, beard butter, beard pulp, beard balm, and I thought, well, why not calling it polisher? So actually it's a beard balm, but I call it a beard polisher. I wanted to distinguish myself from all the other brands five years ago. Now, you said, how do you use it? Look, you can use it in a dry beard, in a wet beard, in a semi-wet beard, during the day, after the day, at night. The only thing I want to tell you, start using little. If you have a, a, a beginning beard or a small beard or two fingers, use a little Work it in, try to get tilt to your skin because when you have a short beard, otherwise you get a really greasy beard because it's still it's oil and uh, grease, uh, oil and grease based product. Okay, so I my beard is about two fists long, two hands long. There we go, it's quite a massive beard. The amount I use. This is our use, it's in use, yes, because I use my products. So there you go, something like this. Where is the camera? No. The grainy structure is a crystallized uh, she butter. It doesn't affect the quality, but since I'm not using any chemical or synthetic emulgator to uh, keep the she butter dispersed in the in the product which is a quality sign the she butter has the she butter will crystallize but it will smear out look so this is the secret it gets liquefied you saw how much i smeared i'll just take a little bit more there we go now how I do it, okay? You can do it your way. I will make sure it gets to the skin. There you go. There is safflower oil in it. There is sweet almond oil in it. There is grapeseed oil in it. There's sheep butter in it. There's coconut butter in it. And all the hair you lose when you put something in. And there we go. That's how I do it. Then it's really on you. If you think that's enough, you stop. But I think my beard is quite thirsty. And um, I just showered. So my beard was still a little bit damp, which is my preferred way to work the beard. Push it in. I take my time. There we go. Give a little shake. There. I'm I really like the natural look on my beard so liberate the beard there we go. And you already noticed the shine it has okay there we go 
there we go that's all you need you see now i took quite a big amount i took a little bit more just there we go as soon the polisher bar will settle in your beard you will have a whole day shine the fragrance depending on the fragrance you have it goes up to three to four hours some i have even noticed that it goes up to six hours a day what you can always do is you can always top it up with a little bit of beard dew in the same fragrance or with some fur dandy beetle to just refresh uh, the fragrance and you enjoy a very nice fragrant good smelling uh, beard Okay, I hope you got an idea what the polisher is about. It's uh, 120 milliliters. There we go. And it has the famous black bakelite lid. Save 10 and you get one beer polisher free. Thank you for your attention. I hope you learned a little bit from me, Ivan Superfurry, the maker of the beer polisher. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.